Smart Suite's map view makes it easy to be able to interact with any of your location-based data. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a Smart Suite implementation partner. You can start by adding an address field to any app that you're using inside a Smart Suite. In this case, I've got my address field and I'm tracking our different customer accounts that we're looking at. From this address field, one of the really nice parts is that it automatically has validation and auto completion behind it with Google Maps. So I can start searching for an address and then be able to click and that's gonna populate all of my address details to make it a much easier process to be able to input that data. From here, I can create a new map view. If I click here and I can create a new public view or private view and select map. In this case, we've got one for accounts by geography. Now, as we take a look, we can see that all of this information is populated on the map. We've got our location here, which we can select from multiple different address fields to say which address field are we looking at to be able to map those locations. We can see when we're zoomed out that it's grouping multiple locations together. Let me click and zoom in a bit here. From here, I can click to get directions. This is going to open up our maps and so we can get directions or see what's nearby. But we also have access to this information right on the screen. We can see our street view by clicking and dragging and dropping our little person so we can see what's going on in that area as well. What I also like is how easy it is to be able to see all of that information associated with the account. So instead of having to go to a different view, I can just click expand record and see all of the underlying details about that customer's account. We don't have to navigate to other views in the system. Here's everything that I need to know. You're able to create multiple map views. So this one was to look at our customer accounts, but let's take a look at our regional offices and how we can configure this. So here I've set up a filter to say, only show me the locations where the type is an internal location. And you'll notice that our display settings are a little bit different here too. So if I click this, we can say, what do we want to show? Is it a roadmap? Do we want to abstract it a little bit? Show that retro so we can change the look and the feel of the map itself. We can change how we want the icons to display, what colors we want them to appear as. We've got plenty of control over our display elements. So if we just want to simplify everything, we don't care about the terrain, we can remove that from the map. And then what I did here is I added a location radius and we added that for 150 miles around each location so we can see which location is best equipped to service our customers. We also have the records listing that we can open up on the side, and this can help us if we have lots of different accounts that we're looking at to be able to navigate exactly to where they are on the map so you don't have to spend lots of time zooming in, zooming out, and scrolling around on the map. This functionality works on your phone as well. So I'm on SmartSuite's mobile application. You can see I've got my different views here, and I'm on that accounts by geography. Let me zoom in here, find that location. There's that about and forever. And again, we can click on get directions. This is going to open up our maps of choice and be able to actually take us to that location. So really easy to be able to do as a workflow, both on desktop and on mobile. You can get started with SmartSuite's mapping feature by clicking in the upper left-hand corner of your solution, clicking the plus button for a public or private view and selecting map.